Hi, I'm Martha Higdon, and I'm finishing up custom quilting this Granny's Garden Quilt by Lori Holt. And um, on my previous video, I showed rulers, and I used the Handy Quilter Wave A as an apple, and I went top all the way across, and I turned it over, and I came bottom all the way under. And then what it created is this beautiful wave. And what I did is I'm using Quilter's Preview Paper. It comes on a roll like this, and then you cut it to the size that you need. And so what I did is I cut it to the border that I have, and you can see that I've outlined the black area because it's very hard to see any of the quilting on the fabrics. The fabrics are beautiful, but you're just not gonna be able to see the quilting. So what I want to do now is I want to figure out a free motion design that I can do all the way across. And this quilter's preview paper is for auditioning um, designs. So I take a dry erase marker, that's my Sharpie, don't wanna use that one. My dry erase marker, that's because I can erase it, try it again, erase it and try it again. Or if I have a large quilt, I can practice my quilting or my drawing it out before I actually get to my quilting. So a couple of things that I was looking at was here. Um, I had thought about the wishbones of filling this area in. And then the main thing is to keep them equally spaced. And I really did like the wishbone. But because I don't want to take this large quilt off the frame, this quilt is 98 by 108, and I don't want to take it off the frame, turn it so that I am always going horizontally with my quilting, I'm not so sure I'm practiced enough to keep it going vertically. Then I decided that maybe I could do the feathering. So I would take a line through here and I would fill in with feathers was my other suggestion but I had already done feathers in the four corners of the blocks, so I thought maybe that was too much for the quilting. Then I decided on the simple U, up and down, up and down. It fills in that area, and I'm pretty confident that I can quilt that um, horizontally and vertically. So I have chosen um, the U's to quilt that, and I'm gonna show you how I quilt that. So you can remove the preview paper, you can erase it and keep drawing. Um, I like to keep these handy for if I'm at the top of the quilt, I get to the bottom of the quilt, I can remember what I quilted at the bottom. So I'll move the paper off to the side and now I'm going to quilt it um, on the designs. So for me, um, I'm doing, I'm in free motion and I am in the regulated stitch, 10 stitches per inch, and I am in the cruise mode. I have my uh, percentage set at 325, just so I can cruise alone. I've already pulled up my bobbin thread and I've already locked it in, and now I am just going to quilt. And I'm basically just gonna stay between my area, and I'm using my, right now I have my sure foot on, and I'm using it for my spacing. And I'm just going back and forth and I'm filling in that area. And I will go all the way across the quilt um, horizontally and then I can easily come down vertically throughout my throat space so that I'm not chunking and doing um, so that I am chunking one section at a time as I go vertically. Um, your other option is that you would take the quilt off and turn it so that you're always quilting horizontally. Um, but I want to try to get it um, quilted in one pass without changing the quilt. So I hope this helped you and inspired you to come up with a design of what you would put in that area um, for this beautiful uh, Granny's Garden Quilt by Lori Holt. Um, look for more videos at quiltingbymartha.com, my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Around the Vine Quilting Studio, and see if I'm out there teaching somewhere that you can visit me. Happy quilting.